service, Captain. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. A business meeting, of a sort at least. Of course. I will admit what I'm proposing involves a little more cloak and dagger than the usual business meeting. But we both know that's how the game plays sometimes. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Oh, exceedingly. The free market there is in full effect. Anything goes as long as you have the money. We'll be taking advantage of that. That settles it then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. There's something I need to talk to you about. I know everyone's excited by... Remember our last conversation? When you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy. Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Arja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Oh yes, absolutely. I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. Arja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Arja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Yeah, you know, being alone in interstellar space, nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. 
I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. No, she retired. Living on Porima too now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. I, I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please give me some time. I. I, I, I have to go. Yeah, what is it? Uh -huh. Talk to you later. Andresia, are you doing all right? I hope you are satisfied with the quarters of the... It's always a good day when you come around. Matt, smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. A native species of fish 
I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Kazimbas's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, the only city in the second system is that has a Don't move, Nesha! What the hell is this about? Cut the act. The snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Mr. Strout, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Strout, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. 
James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. Oh, we have plenty of that, but why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Oh, ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon. Making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above, just to use the elevators. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Not currently, I'm afraid. Unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. I'm sorry, but our policies demand even high-profile customers pay our fees. A loss leader. I make you pay less now in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Of course, the Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. How unfortunate. But I will be here should you change your mind. Come back soon. Hey! What's up?
you'd like to discuss. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Sieghart, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money, I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. I try to be. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep Crate 1. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew. What is the Borealis? You know, the D 
DJ? Well, if Benjamin Bay's ego was as combustible as he was be able to go. You're still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Any luck out there? Good. Let's be on our way then. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. <laughs>